Meet our friend Pat. Pat is going to help us learn some basic anatomy and the location of some of the major organs found in the human body. So let's get started with the head region. And as I open it up, you can see here's the brain. And there's the cerebrum, the cerebellum. Now let's move to the nasal cavity, the oral cavity. This large muscle is the tongue. And at the back of the throat is the pharynx right here. Now let's move on to the neck region. Right here is the thyroid gland. Okay, thyroid gland. And underneath this blue tube is the trachea. Okay, the trachea leads to the lungs. So let's take a look at the lungs. Here's the left lung. The right lung. And I'm going to remove the lungs because uh, to see what's underneath. But right in the center is the heart. And um, let's remove the lungs. And now um, there's the heart. But I'm going to take the heart out to see what's underneath it. Okay, and one of the first things you'll see is the esophagus, the right bronchus, and here's the left bronchus. And those lead into the lungs. Okay, and the heart is going to go back into this cavity right there. Here's the heart, but let's open up the heart and see what's in there. We have the right atrium right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle, the superior vena cava, and underneath is the inferior vena cava, pulmonary trunk right there, and the ascending aorta. Okay, now let's take a look at this really large organ right there. This is the liver. Okay, here's the left lobe the right lobe and I'm going to take it out so you can see underneath and first thing you'll see is this green item right there here's the green item that's called the gallbladder and then uh, you have this blue item is the inferior vena cava right here is the inferior vena cava right there and you'll see some veins and arteries running through the liver it's a really large important organ okay now, here's the stomach. The top of the stomach that the esophagus leads to is the cardia. Now, notice that the stomach is like a little pouch. It is curved, and it fits right back in here. And the pylorus leads into the intestines, okay? And it connects in, and the food goes into the small intestines. Now, let's take a look at, here's the spine spleen right there here's the spleen then the pancreas is right here then you can see one of our kidneys and sitting right on top are the adrenal glands okay now let's go back there's the spleen then we the pancreas you can now see two kidneys okay there's one kidney another kidney then what you have are the ureter and another ureter they lead to the bladder the inferior vena cava the abdominal aorta the adrenal gland sitting on top of the kidneys you can see another adrenal gland you can see both kidneys okay the spleen and then let me grab this and there's the pancreas sitting on top of the large intestine okay now from there let's there's the uh, small intestines and there's the jejunum okay then the from there we have some more of the large intestine right here is where it dumps in to the large intestines that's called the cecum again that's the transition from the small intestines to the large intestines Here's another picture of the large intestines, and it would dump into the rectum. And then, as they say, that's the end of the line. I hope Pat helped you learn some basic anatomy. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.